And make sure you follow me on Instagram at the Real Baby D Gabbana and tune in to all my new music that's dropping soon on all platforms: Spotify, Apple Music, and YouTube. Okay, so to start it off, we gonna ask, where did the name Baby D come from? Okay, so the name Baby D came from like I used to get bullied with the name. Like <laughs> I used to get bullied with the name because I always used to be play fighting boys and stuff. So when I started rapping, I'm like, I might as well just, I changed it to that because I didn't want it to be like Daniel, my real name. And where did you grow up? Um, I grew up around like Sandy Fields, St. Lawrence, Rose, around like, I went to like Tana and Deneen. Those were the only two schools I went to my whole life. So I grew up like all around that. What made you start rapping? Okay, so what made me start rapping is I was 15 and we had went on quarantine. And when we had went on quarantine, I had, I just kept getting in trouble about little stuff. Like, I didn't have no business doing some of the stuff I was getting in trouble about. Yeah. And right before my birthday, I got on punishment. So my mom was like, you're not doing nothing. Like, she was just like, you're not doing nothing for your birthday. Yeah. So I'm just sitting in the house bored, irritated, just rapping, like, about everything I be going through. <laughs> like, I was just so irritated about everything. Yeah. So what made you want to take it serious then? Um, so... What made me want to take it serious? I think it was like, oh, DCG had just dropped a song and I used to always see them and stuff. Like when I used to go to the, um, I used to go to like concerts and stuff and DCG had just dropped the Forever Nitty. So I'm like, I could do it if they can do it. Cause I wasn't like, they don't nobody or nothing, but I was just on some like, they good and I didn't, Seeing them since like I done been at all the concerts from the big jam and stuff, so I'm like I'm finna start doing it because we young, we the same age, we might as well. Is family important to you? Um, my family they they are important to me. Like they the reasons I be happy. Like when I be mad, I be like family love. Like I know I got my mama, my little brother, my daddy. So do they? So saying that, do they support you? Like a lot of families, they support certain dreams. Like if you go to college, they behind you. But if you want to do this, they um. Oh, so look. My family, they support me, like, a lot. Like, them is my biggest supporters. Like, they actually, like, I can go be on a random day, like, having a bad day. I'm going to go around my cousins. They're going to be blasting my music. Like, my family actually support me so much. Like, my even my little brother yeah. be like, he be like, Daniel, who your favorite rapper, baby? D? Like, he just be making jokes. So, like, they yeah. definitely, they support me the most. Like, they push me to keep going. Them be the main people in my comments. Like, my family supports. Is friends and friendship important to you? Okay, it's friendships important to me, but I don't really got a lot of friends. Like, I mean, it's certain friends that I never even got into with. Like, I talk to them and stuff, but I don't really claim them as my friends. Like, even though we knew each other since we were little and stuff, it's just like, it's like a variety of people that I talk to. So, so I, do you feel that your friends support you? Mm, sometimes. Like, of course, they probably looking at it like we talk every day. So, sometimes they'll like it. Don't, like, give me the support that I want, but they support, though, like, right. to a minimum, though. But you do got your, like, your select few that's, Yeah, like, I got really, my select you know. few that, like, overdo it. Like, yeah. of course, my best friend, like, my main friends, my little sister, we all, they all overdo it. But, of course, I want, like, more support from people that I, like, call, label as my friends, but... I'm going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel like those friends are still going to be with you when you make it up there? Or do you feel like y'all could feel like, is it that important to you to, like, keep that friendship? Like, you know what um, I mean? So, what it is is, I'm not a petty person. So, like, even if somebody go missing on me or something, I'm not going to be, like, angry or nothing. Like, if even, even if I do, I'm going to let it go. So, if one of my old, old friends say I got a tool with you or anything, they come to me when I, if I get rich, when I get rich, they'll come to me with something. they uh congratulation rule. I'm not petty or nothing. I'm going to thank you. I'm not going to be like, oh, you didn't support me when I was down. None of that. Even right. though I know that's what was going on, but I'm going to still <laughs> yeah. just take it easy because, like, I just be in my own world. So, speaking of the future, when you make it to where you're going, how will you measure your success? How would you know, like, oh, like, this is the point that's, like, I made it. Like, you know what I mean? 
Um, I'm not gonna measure my success. I'm gonna just keep doing stuff. Like, I ain't but like gonna lie. the internal feeling, how like what do you look for? That's be like, oh, like I'm really, I really made it. So when I know I really made it, cause like I just got this dream. I'm, I really just want to get my mom and them like a big old crib. Like when I yeah. see my, my mom and them already be happy, and then the fact that they support me, it helped me. So like. When I get my mom and I'm in a big crib, like, and I'm still financially stable on my own, I'm going to be like, yeah, I made it. Like, I okay. move my mom and them out, stuff like that. Then I'm going to just. Yeah. You got to move your biggest supporters out. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, do you got a plan B or is, like, you've been to bank everything on, like, like your rap career? Okay. So, look, my rap career was my plan B. And then it was my plan A. And then when I came to right. college, I changed it back to my plan B. So, right. the fact that. I'm about to, college about to, this semester, this year about to be over with. I'm really about to, like, risk it. Like, I feel like I'm old enough to. I feel like I got the, um, I feel like I just got the time to. And I feel like that I'm ready for it now. So, I'm going to just put my all into it. So, like, even if I don't want to spend the money for the studio, I'm going to book it. Because <laughs> yeah. I just feel like I got the time to do it right now. And right. I got to take risks to get what I want. Right. Like, to get my music out there, I know I got to keep dropping content and stuff. So, I'm going to keep on keeping it going until I make it to where I want to be. Right. No risk is no reward. What artist in the industry would you make a song with and why? Um, I feel like I'll make a song with everybody. Like, because I'm not no hater. Like, for real. And then I'm cool. Yeah. And I feel like that my music is so raw. Like, I will make a song with everybody. Like, I'll make a song with a singer, yeah. a slow rapper. Like, I'll make a song with an old rapper, Trina. I'll make a song Trina. with a lot of people, yeah. <laughs> what artist do you look up to the most then? Um, look up to... Who, what artist do I like a lot? I really like... Dang, that's a hard question. Because I like a lot of artists, but... Right. There's one artist that I really do look up to, like... You want to come back to that one? Yeah, we can come back to that okay, one. Okay, okay, okay. I want you to give us your top five artists in the industry. Like, you listen to their songs. Like, they, like, album for album, it's a go. I won. Raw Wave. Okay, okay. Come on, <laughs> top one. Okay, I see so, you. So, Raw Wave. I love Raw Wave. Two. Who else a good rapper that I, I like? I um, like, who else I like? I like Lil Herb. Like, but I like his old songs. G Herbo? Yeah. G Herbo, I'm with you when you write, man. I'm with you <laughs> when like you Lil write. Herb. And I ain't gonna lie, I should have picked him first. I love CEO Trial. He's so cool. Like, if you listen to him, I have no, I don't his know. His music really for people like me. Like, he talk. You might have just put me on. I yeah, ain't even know. I love him. CEO Trial. Like, he real cool with his music. Okay. And another one of my favorite artists is. Who can I think of? Um. Uh, Um, I want to say, I like the City Girls. I ain't gonna lie. They don't really be doing as much as they used to. Yeah. But the little songs they do get, I like them. You know, they don't really be, I don't really, I'm not really like, I don't really like agree with all their lyrics, but I like <laughs> yeah. their little songs, like to just feel cute too sometimes. Yeah. okay. And then, the last person that I want to say, um... Last person I want to say, it's so crazy because I can't even realize who I listen to a lot. Yeah. Nicki Minaj, I listen to her a lot. Like, I just watch her documentaries and just listen to her music, watch her perform. So, it's, so, it's, so it's Nicki over Cardi, okay. Nicki over Cardi, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now that that's said, what artists wouldn't you do a song with? They don't even got to be in the industry, just what artists wouldn't you do a song with? Oh, artists I wouldn't do a song with? <laughs> oh my god. I ain't even gonna say this. No comment. Just, I'm gonna skip it because I don't even wanna say okay, it. Okay, just say it and we go exit out in the <laughs> Okay, just say it and we go edit it out. Which one? Like I wouldn't we gonna blur it we gonna blur it out. I wouldn't do a um a song with Have you met any celebrities so far? Um I actually met a lot of celebrities. Like, I ain't gonna lie. When I first started rapping, mm -hmm. I had a little interview. 
I ain't gonna lie, this was like the closest to celebrity, but this wasn't like when I met celebrities. Like, I met a lot of celebrities when I was like little. Like, my mom, I used mm-hmm. to love concerts, so she used to take me to like Diggy, OMG Girls. But I ain't gonna lie, I don't know if I, I label him as a celebrity, because you know all the celebrities, Ooh. but his name, uh, his name like Smalls TV. I'm gonna I'm let you, I'm gonna find out for you. I'm gonna look it up, but look. When I first started rapping, he did me an interview. I didn't know how big he was, but I went on his page, and I seen he with every celebrity. He with Lil Herb. He with every single celebrity. Some of the some of the celebrities he was with, I seen that like he like I was he in his house, you know. So mm-hmm. I'm like maybe he trying to trick me, but it was just like a game. So when I first started rapping, yeah. he texted me for an interview. He yeah. like every extra person you gotta bring fifty dollars, all type of stuff. So. I'm like, I'm finna just risk it all. So when I get the, he, like, he had the good legs. Like, he know Little Chris, Katie Got Vance, he know everybody. And yeah. he telling me, like, they live in this building. Like, he telling me about Chance the Rapper. So then, right after that, I ended up seeing Chance. So, like, it was just like a, I yeah. felt like he was a celebrity to me. Like, you know all them people, all these people working with you. Then you regardless if you know in the music industry, I felt like he was a celebrity to me. So I was happy about that. Okay. Okay, how was it though? Like, was it like real decent? Like, did you yeah, feel like you was a celebrity being there? Yeah, I learned a lot of stuff too. Like certain, even yeah. certain things I used to do with my music. He told me like you shouldn't um do stuff like that, but you know I'm a support. But he was just yeah. telling me why. Like he was teaching me certain stuff that like I still walk with now and catch on to. Like I remember I was at that interview and stuff like that. How does it feel to be where you are now, knowing where you're going? later like knowing that you're gonna be like successful okay so how it feel while i'm at right now i feel like i'm really doing good because when i did used to make songs i couldn't make a song without like really going through something so like my songs i'm making a song every two months so like you only can i felt like oh i'm a, I'm not a real artist i only can make songs when i'm going through something right that's not the truth though i can make songs when i'm just real life thinking like i'm listening to music i'm regularly just listening to beats but when i'm forcing it i can't make a song but like now i could go wake up i wake up out of my sleep i can make a song in like 30 minutes now i got a whole song so yeah that really like helped me grow so now i know when i get rich they can my manager gonna be able to book me a studio for like five hours i can go like, I've been learning how to freestyle everything, so I know that that's going to, like... You know how to freestyle? Yeah. You I already know, know we're going to ask to hear something right now. I know that's going to... Uh-uh. You already knew it was coming. <laughs> like, you literally just said it. <laughs> okay, I'll freestyle. Is this the last question? No. Okay, I'll freestyle at the end. Okay, but <laughs> we're going to be waiting on it, too. That brings us to our next question. When you write songs, does it come from mostly, most of your songs that you are released, does it come from a <coughs> point of pain or like joy or happiness? Or? Um, it don't, it don't necessarily be from pain. It be from like, um, it be from like, it don't be from pain. It be from like what's ever going on at that moment. So like, I make a good, good song on the day I had a bad day, but like one person didn't make my day bad. Like it'll be like five people. I'm going to say a line about every person in that song, but then yeah. I'm going to keep still putting it back to myself. Like, yeah. I'm this, I'm a bad bitch. Like, I'm going to just keep on doing it like that to right. keep myself up in the song and not put a song towards like one a person, track. like make it like a diss track and yeah. stuff. But I'm going to say a li- like a line or two about it. <laughs> you're going you to make sure they yeah. feel you. Like, you gonna, the person who I'm talking to, people who I'm going to be talking about, don't know I'm talking about. Them. This wasn't even on my list of eggs, but... Have somebody ever heard your song and thought it was about them? They be knowing it's about them. They be trying to argue with me. Like, some people laugh at me. Like, I ain't gonna lie. My old, old song. Yeah. Like, I ain't gonna lie. When people were singing my my first song, I, that was a bad diss song. So, like, I dissed so many people to the point where, like, people I was talking about was laughing. <laughs> they was like, hey, you really diss me? <laughs> I'm like. Okay, we definitely gonna look that song up. Last yeah. nigga snake me, then act like he ain't no shit. He ain't on shit. Told them niggas that you robbed me. You ain't blow shit, you ain't put Don't shit. Don't me and shit. Cause, cause that nigga on my ass and I said what I said. Fuck a nigga, get the bitch. I ain't mad about no grown hoes. These bitches, this my sons. If I said I want that nigga, best believe that nigga took. How do you feel about the buzz your music got so far? Um, I feel like 
it's good and it's going somewhere because even my music got far and I wasn't even posting content or like really in it. Like I had other stuff going on that I wasn't even, and they was still going up. Like it'll be times where I'll be getting on Instagram and I didn't get like 30 new followers cause I got five story shares and I didn't pay attention to that. But now that I'm like active, I'm starting to learn like you gotta stay active with your um, fans, stuff like that. That's what's making me like, you know, keep it going. Right, so how do you feel about your journey? Like, you came from 15 years old, rapping in your room, because you got mad at your mama because she grounded you for your <laughs> birthday, to now you finna do, like, big things, whatever you got next. Um, I feel like that, uh, wait, repeat that question one more time. We can Just, like, out. how do you feel about your journey? Like, how far you oh, come? Oh, I feel like that, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like when I leave college, it's really about to go up. Like, I feel like God made me come to college so this could be a part of my story. Yeah. But I feel like I really got to, he really, like, helped me get my mind together. Because with doing music, you do need the mindset. Like, you right. got to stay consistent with your mindset. Because you will get tired one day and say, fuck this shit. Like, you don't want the fame, you don't want the music, nothing. But I done had times like that, so I know that's how you get. But right. I feel like God only did this so he could, like, show me, like, you finna take off. Because it's just, like, little signs that been coming, so I already know. <laughs> what do you think that you can do to make you better than them? You know what I mean? Because, like, and not by comparison, but just, like, overall, like, you just, you So, roll. what I feel that I could do is, I feel like that I'm not forcing no features. Like, I don't care if you, like up you rich anything i'm not gonna turn down like if i ain't gonna lie i, I want to do a song with all of my favorite artists so like if ceo trial comes to me right now that's the main person i want to do a song with i'm gonna <laughs> yeah do a song with him but i just feel like i'm not forcing it like i'm just not gonna force no features like i know it's people that i'm i'm that want to rap right now that feel like that i'm up because they don't have a lot of fan base but i feel like i'm not up yet right. so i don't want to do no features like i tell everybody that like i'll do some features when i get up though i'm, I'm not a bougie person with it but right. i just don't want to do no features i'm not forcing no features i'm not gonna do a song with this person because her song just went up right or do a social a song with this person because he signed to woo woo because right. i feel like that i want to get my own fan base i want my fans to really like me for you me don't want to become stuff. a musical lead yeah okay like, I want to just do everything on my own. Then I could start doing features. Like, people can start paying me to do features when I get up. I don't want to have to force it. Yeah. I don't want to do no free features just because we both ain't got a lot of views. I yeah. want to just wait till I get up, and then we can do it like so that. about 30 seconds, we going to play a game called This, That, or The Other. So, basically, I'm going to give you two or three things, and you got to pick one. For example, I would say House of Cock. Um, House. Train, bus, or airplane? Train, bus, a bus. I get on a bus. A bus over an airplane? Yeah, airplane. I, that man kind of hear her. It be too far <laughs> from the ground. Okay, now that was just examples. <laughs> um, We going to play the game, and you got to answer quick. I'm not going to ask you why nothing. I'm going to just keep on going. We're going to keep on going. <laughs> okay. No ums in it. We can't say no ums. Well, you can, but try not to. Try okay. To try and go quick. Okay. Lil Durk or Lil Baby? Lil Baby. Car truck? Truck. Gym shoes or heels? Gym shoes. Hotel or Airbnb? Airbnb. $40 or 4,000 pennies? 4,000 pennies? $40 or 4,000 pennies? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. 4,000 pennies to you like a lot. Okay, dress or outfit? Outfit. Money or fame? Money? Chicago, Atlanta, or New York? New York. McDonald's or Wendy's? Wendy's. Steak and chicken. <laughs> Steak. Broadway apology or baby face ray. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> baby face ray. <laughs> Over right away? Over your top or okay, I can't ask you why. You can't. Can. <laughs> okay, East G, Rilo Rodriguez, or no cap. ESTG. Okay. Water pop or juice? Water. Pictures or videos? Videos. Snapchat or Facebook? Facebook. Kodak Young Thug or Money Bag Yo? Money Bag Yo. Small, <laughs> small arena or big arena? Small. Lotto, Megan Thee Stallion or Cash Doll? Cash Doll. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that was it. That was it. Okay. When or if you begin to feel like discouraged or like you don't want to do no more, it's like it's too much, what's one thing you're going to remember or think of that's going to like keep you going? Um, One thing I remember or think of, 
I'm going to actually just think of my best friend who got shot, who mm -hmm. died. I'm going to think of him because I always think of him whenever I'm down or something. Mm -hmm. And then another thing I'm going to think of is I'm going to go look at my first video. Like, that's what really be keeping me going. I'll look at my video. When I see myself, it just pushes me like, oh, you could do this again. You did it before. What's a message to your younger self um, as an a artist? A message to my younger self as an artist. Um, I'm happy that I handled it. Like, I ain't gonna lie, when I needed to take a rap break, even though I had one song, I took a break. Like, I'm happy that my younger self handled it how she did. Like, even when she was acting stubborn, she like, fuck this music shit and stuff. Yeah. I'm happy that I did what I did. Cause, like, I'm more mature now. So I don't, I wouldn't give, never give up on myself. Like, when I did make them angry decisions, like, to give up on myself and say, forget music, it was on some selfish stuff with myself. I can't, like, be mad at myself and settle for less with myself because right. I'm mad at myself. So I'm glad that I did what I did because now I'll never settle for it. Like, I'll never be mad at myself and be like, I'm not rapping no more. Like, right. you know you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get what you're saying. What's a message to a young person that's your age or that's younger than you that's trying to get, like, to where you are? Even though you don't think, like, you big yet, but what's a message to somebody that's trying to get to where you are or where um, you're trying to go? A message that I feel like that I will always want to say to somebody, I know everybody say this, but, like, really, though, really stay consistent. Like, you got to stay consistent because it even got to the point where I see myself falling off. I'm losing fans. I'm losing followers. In order to keep getting those shares, I got to keep dropping trailers, keep dropping content. So right. Even if you don't got the funds to drop no videos or you feel like you only got 15 followers, just keep staying consistent. Them 15 followers are going to turn into 30. 30 going to turn into 60. Like, it's going to keep doubling if you just keep staying consistent. Okay. So, do you want to give any shout-outs? Any... Um, I actually do want to get some shout outs. Like, I want to get some shout outs to my family, mm -hmm. my mama. Um, besides my mama, my daddy, and my little brother, I want to get some shout outs to my mama's side. They always support me. Like, I'm not going to lie, my cousins, they show me the best love. All their kids know my songs. Um, my auntie, my favorite little cousin, Jalen, like, I even got him really doing good stuff with his life. So, I feel like that Um, my little cousin, Jalen, he really, like, you know, he'll keep me going. And for him to be my little cousin, he come to me about everything. And he always pushed me with my music. So, like, even on my first video, he right there on the side of me. So, I really want to shout out to my little cousin, Jalen. Like, I really love him. And I'm going to do this for Antoine. And make sure y'all stream all my stuff because it's going to be on all platforms. The next song I drop, it might be like in a week or two, but I'm dropping soon. So, make sure y'all follow my Instagram so y'all can keep stay updated. So is your latest song that you finna drop? Is that your favorite favorite song of yours? Yes. <laughs> Hey, hey. Don't argue with no weak hoe, clap her down, yeah, that's the Chico Got the key to bitches, heart them bitches Thank you for tuning in with Baby D. Gabbana And make sure y'all go like, comment, and subscribe to Lynn 2 Raw's YouTube channel Cause I need my speakers turned up, turned louder than loud I don't wanna hear these voices, I just wanna see crowds and I don't